Hello and welcome to another season of Game On. I am Slash Raptor and this is Pokemon White version randomized. I have never done a randomizer before ever, so I'm super excited to get this started. Basically, what's going to be randomized are the location of items, all of the wild Pokemon, the starter Pokemon, and trainer and gym leader and elite four members Pokemon. Um, and but I mean the the items in the field are not randomized. They're actually it's called shuffled. So instead of randomizing them, um, when you find one thing, instead of finding what you would normally find there, it's been shuffled around so that all of the same items will be found, but they're not in their original places. But you will still find the same things, as opposed to it being randomized where you could find anything. Um, so let's not waste any time. I really am excited to do this. I hope you guys aren't mad that I'm doing two Pokemon games in a row. And let's start this up. New game. Hi there! Welcome to the world of Pokemon! My name is Professor Juniper. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. That's right. This world is widely inhabited by mysterious creatures called Pokemon. Pokemon have mysterious powers. They come in many shapes and live in many different places. We humans live happily with Pokemon, living and working together. We complement each other. We help each other out to accomplish difficult tasks. Having Pokemon battle one another is particularly popular, and it deepens the bonds between people and Pokemon, and that is why I research Pokemon. Well, that's enough from me. Could you tell me more about yourself? Are you a boy, or are you a girl? I'm definitely a boy. I'd like to know your name. Please tell me. Well, since you asked so nicely, my name is... La shit. Yeah. Your name is Slash. Yes, it is. So your name's Slash. What a wonderful name. Thank you. Well, then I'm going to introduce you to your two best friends. Okay, hold the phone. If they're my two best friends, why do I need to be introduced to them? <laughs> so what she's basically doing is just saying, Here, you. Uh, let's see, I'll grab this lady and I'll grab this guy. And then shoves them together. Okay, now you three are going to be best friends. Go! No, like... This young man is Charon. He can be a little difficult, but he's a very honest person. This young woman is Bianca. She's a little flighty, but she works very hard. Like, look at these two. I don't want to be friends with either of them. They're both idiots, and they're both... St <laughs> they both look stupid. Like, Charon's got this permanent upwards bang thing, kind of like Alfalfa from the Little Rascals, and... What is up with Bianca? She has like, she, her head looks like, her head looks like, um, it's Hey Arnold's head. She looks like she could be Hey Arnold's sister and that silly green hat. Like, look at this, here. If this is her hair, it looks like her whole head is this weird oval shape, like Stewie or Hey Arnold. I don't like either of these two. I wish I had better best friends in this game. I think you three have potential, so I'm going to give you a very, very important Pokemon. Slash, the moment you choose the Pokemon that will accompany you on your journey, your story will truly begin. During your journey, you will meet many Pokemon and people with different personalities and points of view. I really hope you find what is important to all of you in these travels. That's right, befriend new people in Pokemon and grow as a person. That is the most important goal for your journey. Well, let's go visit the world of Pokemon. Well, at least they didn't turn me into a Shrinky Dink. Why is it winter? I'm filming this in August. Oh, I guess maybe this is a European ROM, so if it's summer here in North America, maybe it's... Maybe it's winter there. It's a very small-looking house. Slash, I heard from Professor Juniper. We can have a Pokémon? What's keeping Bianca? Am I a little late again? Sorry! Bianca, I've known for ten years that you have no sense of time, but seriously, today's the day we can get a Pokémon from Professor Juniper! I know, sorry Slash, sorry Charon. So, where are they? They, deliver they were delivered to Slash's house, so naturally he gets first pick. Pokémon are waiting for us inside that gift box. Okay Slash, you go first and take a peek at the gift box. I want to meet the Pokémon right now. Well, keep your pan- don't get, don't get your panties in a twist, because first, I gotta do that, and I have to do that. Okay. Now we're good. 
Let's see what we've got here. I brought three Pokemon, one for you and one for each of your friends. Please settle your choices politely. Enjoy your Pokemon, Professor Juniper. Alright, so they still look like the original Unova starters, so let's see. Oh, they transform! Okay. So, ah, Trico! Okay, so yeah. <laughs> so we have an unknown, we have a Trico, and we have a Dunsparce. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, I'm definitely not making a Dunsparce, because it's ugly, stupid, doesn't evolve, has crappy attacks, and is useless. And the same goes for unknown. Except all it can do is hidden power, which leaves Trico. So naturally, I'm gonna pick Trico. So let's see if this is the if this is if Trico's replacing Oshawott, then that would mean that Charon is gonna take this one, and Bianca's gonna take this one. Let's do this. Let's leave them with two horrible Pokemon. I'll take this Trico and love it. This Trico is awesome. Slash for chose Trico. Okay, I'll take this Pokemon. Sharon, that one's yours. Hey, how come you get to pick my, my Pokemon? Oh, never mind. I wanted this one from the start anyway. Everyone has chosen a Pokemon. So, that's that. Hey, I know. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Honestly, Bianca, even though there's still weak Pokemon, you shouldn't have Pokemon battles in a, inside a house. Don't be a worry wart. These little ones are weak, like you said. We have to let them battle so they'll get stronger. It's settled Slash. Get ready for a Pokemon battle! Bring it on, football head! You've got an unknown. That's all you got. Oh, it's the A unknown. Which I always thought looks like an like the Eiffel Tower kind of. Alright, Trico, let's do this! No matter what we do, we can win, because all it can do is hidden power. So first of all, Leer. Let's see if it's super effective against me. Ooh, it critted! Wow! I might actually... This one might actually be harder than I thought it would be. Pound! Oh, never mind. This will be easy. Three hits and it'll go down unless I crit. Let's see what it does without a crit. That's, a, that's actually doing a fair amount of damage. One more and I should be, and I should win this. I don't think it'll knock me out. Yeah, no, that did nothing. Take this. That's all she wrote. Trico gained 178 experience points. Holy crap! Trico learned absorb. <laughs> Woohoo! Aww. The Pokemon on both sides did their best! Slash get 500 for winning! <laughs> and when the dust cleared... Wow, you're gonna be an awesome trainer someday, I can tell, no doubt! Uh, Bianca, would you take a look around? Whoa! Wh what happened? Wow, Pokemon are amazing! So little, but so strong! I'm so glad that I get to have a Pokemon. Oh, uh, sorry about your room, Slash. You are completely hopeless. Here, I'll restore your Pokemon for you. Slash's Pokemon needs to be fixed up, too. Hey, Charon, how about a you battle, too? With all you know, I'm sure you can battle without turning the room into a disaster area like I did. I believe you're right. There'll be no problem for me to keep the room from getting any messier. Besides, it's not fair if you two are the only ones who get to have fun battling. It's decided you'll be my first opponent. And in my first Pokemon battle, let's see what you can do, my Pokemon! Not much, because you get a Dunsparce. Or as I call it, der Derpsparce. Okay, Trico, let's do this. We're two levels higher, and we're gonna get even stronger after this. Absorb! Okay, well, it's obviously got some pretty strong defenses there. I finally become a trainer. Everything starts from here. Pound. 
go! So rage is built. Uh oh. Does rage stop itself if you don't continuously use rage? I don't know. I'm gonna leer at it a couple of times because I'm not I'm not sure how this is gonna work. That thing's really tough. Doesn't have very good moves, but it is tough. Ah, so we've reached the stalemate. I'm gonna keep leering and you're gonna keep defending. Fine. Um, then I'm just gonna absorb you because you're raising your physical defense. Ooh, that was a big hit. A couple more and it should go down. Absorb! That's handleable. I'll absorb more life every time I use absorb. That's why they call it absorb. Okay. One more. One more attack, Trico. We can do this! Absorb! Take it down! Hooray! Dance Bars goes down! Holy crap, 171 experience points. Trico go to level 8. Trico go to level 9. <laughs> wow, so much experience already. And now I've got $4,000 to my name. I made a strange blunder in my first battle, but this feeling I have, I'm finally a trainer. But first we'd better go apologize to your mother about this messed up room. Oh, I'd better come too! Let's take a look at Trico. Brave nature. Perfect. Capable of taking hits. Wow, I like that ID number. Nothing but... Nothing but even numbers. Almost in order. I don't know, I just like that ID number. What is it? Okay, so over... Yeah, of course it's gonna have overgrow. I hate that move. It's so useless. What is the point of having an ability that only works if your Pokémon's about to die? I, I don't get it. I'll never understand that. Okay, so... Pretty even stats. His special... Trico's special attack is almost always higher. But that's just in his Trico stage. I'm very sorry about all the trouble, ma'am. We'll, um, we, we can clean up. Cleaning up? No worries, I'll take care of it later. Shouldn't you be on your way to meet Professor Juniper? Yes, thank you. Please excuse us. Come on, let's go thank Professor Juniper. I'll be waiting in front of the lab. Oh, wait, I gotta go home first. Thanks for having us over. My, my slash, Pokemon battles are so lively, aren't they? I could hear the Pokemon's cries clear for down here. That sure reminded me of my first Pokemon battle. Oh, and you know, after a battle, you need to rest your Pokemon. Thanks, Ma. Your Pokemon is looking great. Now, if you're going, now if you're going out, don't forget your cross transceiver. Right, because we all know it's so useful to have something that you can Skype people with. You're gonna thank the professor too, right? Better get going, honey. The x transceiver is about as useful as the Poketch was. Poketch did nothing. You could have made it through the entire game without ever using it. The Poke Gear was useful. The Poke Nav was useful. Oh wait, no, we ha don't we have to go after Bianca? I think we have to go talk to her first. Which one's her house? Is this her? Yeah, okay. No, no, a thousand times no! But I'm... I'm a good trainer who got a Pokemon and everything. I can totally go on an adventure. Y you've got an unknown. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. I'll be waiting for you in front of the lab, okay? Move it, football head! Hey, Arnold! Do, 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 do! Okay, let's go meet the professor. The nutty professor. Uh, 
Hi there. I've been waiting for you, young people. Let me introduce myself again. My name is Professor Juniper. We know your name. Come, come, Charon. This is not a time to take things lightly. Today is a day to remember always, so it's best to behave with some formality. That being so, once again, my name is Professor Juniper, and I am re researching when and how the creatures called Pokemon came into existence. What is the purpose of that of, of that research? Pokemon are animals. Like, th there are no animals in this world, right? So, instead of animals, they just have Pokemon. So they've been around for as long as humans have. I don't see what the purpose of that research would be. Oh, that's unusual. You've already had a Pokemon battle, so by, maybe that's why it feels as though your Pokemon have already begun to trust you. By the way, would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? Why, yes. Yes, I would. I will call him... I'll name him... Trebek. After Alex Trebek, the greatest game show host ever. Uh-huh, I see. Are you okay with the nickname Trebek? Yes, absolutely, because Trebek is also Canadian, even though he lives in America now and has now become a uh, represent- like, and now we become a spokesperson for the Colonial Pen program, but whatever. As for why I gave you- gave all of you a Pokémon, it's for the Pokédex, right? Pokédex? I'm astonished. Nice work, Charon. You've already studied Pokémon extensively, haven't you? No, he's just played the other games. Still, let me explain everything from the beginning for everyone's sake. But I already know everything! Bianca's the only one that doesn't know. The Pokedex is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokémon you encounter. So I want you three to visit many places and meet all of the Pokémon in the Unova region. This is my request. Slash, Charon, Bianca, you'll go on an adventure to complete the Pokedex, won't will you not? Nah. Okay, I mean, yes, Professor. Thank you very much. Because of you, I can become a Pokémon trainer exactly as I've always wished. All of you, thanks. You have given me the best possible answer. Slash obtain the Pokedex. Next, I need to teach you how to meet Pokemon. Please make me a route run, okay? I know how to meet a Pokemon! Ah! S since the professor asked us, it's okay to go out on an adventure, right? I, I could explore and maybe find out what I want to do in life. I think I'd like that. Of course, we can travel however we want while we complete the Pokedex. Okay, see you guys. I'm going this way. Hey, Slash, wait up! Oh, there you are. And what did the professor have to say? She asked you to complete the Pokedex. I can't believe it. Well, actually, I can. I already knew she was going to ask. That's why I brought you three... These maps. Oh, that's why I brought you three of these maps. I thought it was... I brought you three these maps. But no, that's wrong. I brought you three of these town maps. Here you are, Charon. I'll take good care of it. And one for you too, Bianca. Thank you so much! As for your room, Slash, or what's left of it, no need for you, any of you to worry. I'll take care of tidying up. Okay, Slash? Ah, Pokémon. They are so cute, but they have enough power to destroy a bedroom. They are really something. With Pokémon like that at your side, you'll be safe wherever you go. I'll let your parents know. I hope that in addition to Pokémon, you'll find lots and lots of places you like in the Unova region and become wonderful adults. Have a great trip! If we use the town map, if I use the town map, I'll always know where I am. That's certainly helpful. Shall we head to Route 1? The professor's waiting. Let's go, let's go! Slash, hurry and come too, okay? Slash, it's this way. Bianca says that if we're starting a journey together, she wants us all to take our first step at the same time. Hey Slash, let's all take our first step into Route 1 together. Okay, here we go. One, two... Oh, I wonder what will happen. Isn't this exciting? It sure is. Come on, the professor's waiting. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Now that everyone's here, I'll explain. This Pokedex pages update automatically whenever you meet a Pokémon, however... It's set up so that you obtain even more information when you catch one. To make this clear, I'm going to demonstrate how to catch a Pokémon. Alright, well, wake me in five minutes after I, after this is over. Hey, this thing isn't randomized. <sighs> oh, 
Boring. Interesting. It's it's showing the battery thing on whatever the, the, the bottom screen is, except my computer doesn't have a battery that it can check. So I don't know what that battery is of. I think that's usually supposed to be what your DS's battery is. Oh, how, how surprising. She caught the Pat Rat. Wow. If I hadn't watched that, I would never have remembered how to catch Pokemon. It's such a complicated process. Did you see that just now? Here's how it goes, step by step. So now you're going to tell us a second time how to catch them. I don't care. Everybody knows how to catch Pokemon by now. So now if we get the Pokeballs. Pokeballs are used for catching Pokemon and for carrying the Pokemon you catch. I'm going on ahead. I'll be waiting for you in Accumulatown. Is that wheat in the distance? She forgot to say the Pokemon jump out at you in the tall grass. I'm heading to Accumulatown too. I think I'll go too. I'm looking forward to the next town so I can go shopping for Pokeballs. Wait a minute. Hey, listen. I thought of something fun. Well, we need to get going. I'd imagine the professor's waiting. Would you just listen a sec? Why don't we see who can catch the most Pokemon? The person, the person carrying the most Pokemon, including the one received from Professor Juniper, is the winner. Actually, that sounds interesting. It will fill up Pokedex pages, so I'm sure it'll please the professor too. Okay then. Until we reach Accumula Town, take care of healing your Pokemon at your own house. We, me and Tepe, will do our best for sure. Even though she's got an unknown. Yeah, that's wheat. Surprisingly, a large amount of detail on this. Route one. That's a large sign for it, if that's all it says. I don't get the running shoes yet, do I? No. Okay. So I guess let's see what we can find in the grass. Nothing. How f riveting. How about this patch of grass? Ah, here we go. A Nidoran. I can try catching it, I guess. Go, Trebek! Pound! Woo! Nice! Oh no, you didn't! You did not just poison my Trico! Alright, now you've made me mad. <sighs> Bag! Pokeball! She only gave me five? Cheap! Go, Pokeball! Yay! One down. The Poison Pin Pokemon. It scans its surroundings by raising its ears out of the grass. Its toxic horn is for protection. Give it a nickname, sure. I will call him... I'll call him Arthur, because he evolves into a Nido King eventually. I don't know if I want to use a Nido King. I've used quite a few, but those are mostly in Gen 1. Oh, and this is the generation where you don't actually get hurt by poison outside of battle. Cool. Let's go back to my mommy and have her heal me. Gee, it sure would be nice if I had the running shoes. Ugh. Mommy, my Pokemon is poisoned. I require... Rejuvenation. Whew. I'm taking a little break from cleaning up. You and your Pokemon should take a break too. Good trainers don't push their Pokemon too hard. Oh, Gary, why didn't you tell me I was pushing you too hard? Meow. You did? Oh, Gary, why didn't you tell me I wasn't listening? Meow. You did? Oh, Gary! Oh, Gary! This SpongeBob quote was brought to you by SpongeBob SquarePants. What else can we find in this grass? A Togepi! Cool! Let's catch it! I've never used a Togekiss before. Although it's still a normal type in this one. Look at that weird little dance it's doing. Alright, let's try absorbing it. I don't want to knock it out though. Okay, well, that would be good if I was attacking you with Tackle or Pound, but I'm not going to. I'm going to do one more Absorb. I should be okay.
Okay. Well, now, let's try throwing a Pokeball at it. Hiya! Dude. Oh, okay, was not expecting that. Well, I could try another absorb, but I don't think it's gonna work. It might knock it out. Let's try another ball. I've got 5,000, so I've got plenty of money to buy more. And I kind of want this Togepi. It'd be kind of cool to have a Togekiss. Also, this, um, this randomizer has a feature where you can... You can make it possible for Pokémon normally that wouldn't evolve without being traded or something like that, so that they can evolve normally, just like how Gaia had that in there. So um, I can I can get um, like a, a Machamp and a Golem and all those Pokémon, which is really cool. One of my favorite things. Togepi, the Spike Ball Pokémon. So it's regist so it says Pokédex registration completed. But yet, it doesn't know what Pokemon it is. But it's got information on it. Weird. It transforms the kindness and joy of others into happiness, which it stores in its shell. So how is there a difference between joy and happiness? Well, since it's still in its shell, I will call him... I'll call him... Egbert. Lovely. What else is in the grass here? A Chimeco. Or a Chingling. I don't want one of those. I'm not even gonna use it. It's stupid. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tackle it and, and get rid of it. I don't like that Pokemon. It's, it's dumb. Ooh, it's quite tough. Wait, it was gonna wrap me? What was it gonna wrap me with? It doesn't seem to have any appendages that would be suitable for wrapping. Oh, well, there it goes. Did anyone else just notice that Trebek's arms just kind of disappeared there for a minute? Pound! Huzzah! Chingling goes down. Trebek gained 25 experience points. Alright. Well, let's go through this patch of grass, and we'll see if I've got more Pokemon than anyone else. How about it, Slash? Do you want to compare? Wow, three? That's awesome! Are you excited to have that many Pokemon? Incidentally, if you check your Pokedex, you'll see how many you've found and how many you've caught. I'm off to the Kimbula Town. The professor's waiting. The X transceiver is ringing. Wow, how riveting. Hello, how is everybody doing? You and your Pokemon are getting along great now, right? Oh, professor. Right now, I'm in front of a Kimbula Town's Pokemon Center. I'd like to show you around, so hurry on over, everyone. Okay, the Pokemon Center. Right. See you. Wow, that was so useful. Like, why couldn't she... Like, why couldn't we have just walked over and had her bring us to the Pokemon Center? Ah, Slash, there you are. Traveling with your Pokemon is truly one of the joys of being a trainer. Please follow me. I'd like to show you the most important place for a trainer to know. A Pokemon Gym? This is a Pokemon Center. Don't you feel better as soon as you step through the door? No, not really. Okay, let's start your tour. What do I need a tour for? There's two things to see. A Pokemon Center is a truly incredible place. Do you know why? Because your Pokemon can be healed. And what's more, it's absolutely free. A Pokemon Center is a trainer's best friend. Here, Slash, give it a try. How do the Pokemon Centers stay in business if everything they offer is free? Well, I guess maybe in this... Ah! <sighs> Humor me and talk to the lady. Fine. Here, lady, take my Pokemon. Wow, okay. Now, how do the Pokemon Center stay in business if they offer their services for completely free? I guess in this generation, they've got the people running the store there, so maybe the Pokemon Center uses the profits from that to keep itself running. But in the previous generations, the Pokemon Center was just on its own. 
But I mean, you've got to think, it must take a lot of electricity to keep that PC running and that machine running 24-7. And in the TV shows, they have, like, actually, like, they have, like, what appears to be, like, rooms that trainers can stay in, and they've got bathrooms, and they've got, like, a, like a cafeteria and stuff. Okay, now that your Pokémon have rested, I'll show you how to use the PC at the Pokémon Center. I know how to do this, Professor! Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, someone is the person who invented it. I forget who it is in this one. Now, this is the Pokemart. This is the place to buy useful items and sell the ones you don't need anymore. That gentleman over there will help you with a smile. So, let's wrap this up. I've given you the basics of being a trainer. I'm going back to Nuvemba Town. One final thing. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Ooh, what should I buy? Potions and Pokeballs are definitely important. Hmm, thinking. Okay, am I finally free now? Okay, good. So let's go into the PC over here, and I will put... I'll put... I'll put Arthur in here, because I don't really see myself using him right now. Oops. What is your nature? Hustle, what does that do? Boosts the attack stat, but lowers accuracy. Fantastic. What good is having accuracy if you can't hit anything with it? Alright, well I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you my marking. So let's do this one, this one, this one, and that one. And then for Trebek, we'll do the same thing. One, two, three, four. Cool! Okay. So, I'll go and I'll, I'll buy a few things after I'm done the recording, but I think this is a good place to call this episode quits. So thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you're enjoying the randomized Pokemon White playthrough so far. I hope to see you for the future episodes. Stay tuned for more, and until next time, peace out, and as always, game on. See ya!